Good morning and welcome to Breakfast at Nine. And this is Mish live in my lounge and um, it's great to be here with you. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, it's a really lovely sunny day today and uh, it's just great to be here. Hello! Um, yes, so today is, uh, it's all about walking. The story starts off with walking. So I thought we could start off by doing some walking. So are you ready? Let's walk around our lounge and get morning, Nettie. Let's, Nettie will be good at this. Morning, Legita. Let's get walking around our lounges because it's lovely out there. I was going to walk along the, the road but I thought no I might get a complaint so let's go walking around our lounge come on let's get some exercise going and I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more and I don't know the words so we will walk around our lounge once more do 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 and I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more. And I just don't know the words, so we'll walk around just once more. Do 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 this weather is great for getting out for walks. And our theme today is on the road to Emmaus. And that's where they do a lot of walking, hence walking. And you know what? I'm really puffed, aren't I? I'm not fair. And I love being in my front garden. And there's so many people walking by. And before all this lockdown, there used to be people walking past, but not half as many as now. It's so good to see so many people out there walking. It's just great and having a chat to people walking by. And so I thought we're going to play a game this morning. Are you up for a game? Yes, we're going to play for a, a, a game and it's called Would You Rather. I'm so out of breath. Would You Rather. And we play with this with the youth and uh, you're given two options. And uh, normally they run to one side or the other. But we're just going to stand still and do it today. So I'm going to give you two options. And if you choose the first option, I want you to put your hand on your head. And if it's the second one, can you touch your nose? Okay, so are you ready? So if you open the door and there was a bike there, would you rather choose your bike, but if it's your bike, put your hand on your head? Or would you rather go for a walk? If it's going for a walk, touch your nose. Okay, so would you rather ride a bike? or go for a walk. Let's have a look. Oh, there's a few with a bike, but do you know what? I would go for a walk because you can tell by my huffing and puffing, I'm just not fit and I can't do bikes. So well done. Next one, are you ready? Okay, if you had the choice, just forget lockdown. If you had the choice, would you walk along the beach or would you go to the woodland within the forest? What would you choose? A walk on the beach or go to the forest? What would you choose? Or, <coughs> excuse me, there's a lot for that beach, isn't there? Well, Janice would go for a walk. Uh, yeah, where? Would you go for, <laughs> is that the previous one? That's the previous, there's a bit of a delay. Well, would you walk to the beach or go through the beach, yeah. That's what I would do. I love going to the beach. I love it. I love putting my earphones in, my worship music, and I can connect with God there. It's great. So, next one. You're doing very well. Okay, next one. Um, would you rather go to somewhere that you know really well, a favourite place, that's hand on head, or would you like to go somewhere new and explore? So somewhere that's your favourite place that you know is really nice or would you like to explore? Mm. Well, I think I'd like to explore. I like finding new places. And even though sometimes it's not great, it's good to find somewhere new, isn't it? So the next one, oh, last one this is. Okay, so you're going for a walk. Would you take Jesus with you on your head or would you leave him at home? on your nose. Would you take Jesus with you on your walk 
or would you leave him at home? And some of you might be thinking, what is she talking about? What's she on about? What, do we pick Jesus up and put him in our pocket and go for a walk? And some of you might be thinking, hmm, interesting, I see what she's getting at. So when I say, do you take Jesus for a walk? I hope the answer is yes, you would take Jesus for a walk with you. And what I do is when I go for a walk, I love going, come on, let's go for a walk. And I thank you, Lord. Thank you for this lovely time. Thank you for this lovely weather. And when I go out for a walk, I like to pray for the roads. So I go out of here and I walk past Tarn Drive and I love praying for people in the road. And if there's anyone I know that lives in that road, I pray for him, for them. And it's just like saying, Lord, I just pray for your blessing on Tarn Drive. And I particularly pray for my friend in there. And then I just pray for your light to shine in their hearts. And you know, it's such a good thing to do. It gives you an inspiration for going out and, and just praying is, is just so good anyway. So try that. Try prayer walking when you next go out. And also, we've just started praying for streets um, on Facebook. I was woken up at three o'clock in the morning, as usual, by God. And he said, Mish, I, I want you to put the streets on Facebook. And I had to take pictures of the road signs. It was very Pacific. And he said, I want you to ask people who live in those streets to ask them for their prayers, connect with these people, need to be out more outward looking, ask for those prayers. So on Thursday, we popped it on and we have had people on there asking for prayer, even asking for prayer in other streets and they're quite excited for other streets to come up. And it's just so good and it's working because God is behind it. So if you can get out there, this week we're praying for Nuthatch and Martin Close, please pray for those roads, but get out there and when you're walking, pray for the streets around you. You don't have to do every single one, because that's hard work, but just pray, you know, target some when you go out, pray for those streets, it's great, you'll love it. So in our story today, there were some men walking on the road to Emmaus. And these men, they'd been hanging out with Jesus and they'd watched him die and they thought that was it. And they'd heard rumours that he was alive, but they, didn't, they weren't sure. So they thought, oh, let's just get out of here. Let's just go. So they left Jerusalem and they were on the road. But as they walked along, Jesus joined them. And you'll never guess what happened. Well, to find out, you have to go on our website at www.christchurchcreekmore.org. I've made a ditty because you know, like United Taxis, that's catchy. Well, this is our new one. So it's www.christchurchcreekmore.org. And if you go on there on our breakfast online at nine online tab, you'll see the Newmans. Duncan, it was fantastic. They have made a brilliant video of the story. And even Tilly the dog is joining in. So have a look, go and have a look and see what happens when Daniel, I mean Jesus, when Jesus turns up and, and go and see what happens. Now then, do you know we're so blessed because we know what happened to Jesus. We know that he's gone back to heaven and he's seated at the right hand of the Father. And he's watching over us and every move that we, wait, he make, that we make. He's waiting for us to speak to him and spend time with him. And you know, at this moment, this is a great opportunity to do that. And I know parents will be going, what, you gotta be joking. I'm trying to homeschool, keep the kids entertained, stay straight, stay stay sane within it all <sighs> but you know it is it is good to make time if you can make time with the kids and uh, why not go deeper together as a family maybe at tea time you could uh, get your bible out and uh, choose a story allow the children to choose a story that they would like to read or your young people and um, give them a choice and me you may have to suggest a few of the stories and then you may read it through and then you think think you can discuss, why do you think that happened? Why did it happen like that? What do you think it means? How can that help us today? There's all sorts of questions that you can just bounce about. And actually, by doing that, you'll learn something too. Now, if you don't have a Bible for your children or young people, well, not so much the young people, but for the kids, we use this one. Let's get it in shot. This is the Lion Storyteller Bible. It's written by Bob Hartman. And this is what we use at breakfast at nine to tell the stories. And look, it's just brilliant. It's illustrated. They're really good. David and Goliath, I love that one. There's all sorts of stories. And there's even CDs um, 
not that I've got a CD player, but you put it on the uh, computer or children's ones, but it's lovely to actually read a story together. So have a go at that. And uh, young people and grown-ups, why don't you spend time reading a bit of scripture and rooting deeper in the world, in the word? And praying is always great, but also putting in time just to sit and listen to God. Just, just to wait on him is good too. And you can play worship music and sit at Jesus' feet and spend time with him. Or go out for your exercise and put worship music in your ears and just grow closer to him in that way. And you know, all these things together will help you to go deeper with him and to build up a strong and rooted faith. And you know what? I keep hearing the words, we'll never get back to normal. It'll never be the same again. And the thought of that, you know, it did worry me until I read this piece in the Grapevine this week, which is the Salisbury Diocese newsletter. And it's a reflection by Sonia Rini Taylor. And it says this, we will not go back to normal. Normal never was. Our pre-corona existence was not normal, other than we normalised greed, iniquity, exhaustion, depletion, extraction, disconnection, confusion, rage, hoarding, those toilet rolls, hate and lack. We should not long to return, my friends. We are being given the opportunity to stitch a new garment one that fits all of humanity and nature. So my throat's drying out. When eventually this crisis passes and we're tempted to get back to normal as quickly as possible, it will be time to stop and reflect on what was so unhealthy about our pre-corona existence. It will be a time for us to stitch together, Carrie, this is good for you, stitch together a new garment one that envelopes us in a more thoughtful, compassionate, nurturing way of being. A way of being based on love for each other, our communities, and for all of our creation. This really spoke to me and I hope it speaks to you too. So let's start rooting ourselves even deeper with Jesus this week and prepare ourselves for this new time, this new garment so, guys, pop onto our website at, ready, www.christchurchcreekmore.org and go on the Breakfast at Nine online tab and watch the Newman's fantastic story complete with Tilly the dog. And there's a craft activity. This week we are making family storybooks and you can uh, go and download the template to make this from an A4 or you can make a big one. You can do what you like. It's all, um, all the uh, family uh, sharing and making um, parts of the book um, favourite things which is a good idea and don't forget email me your pictures Kerry you're so good at doing this of uh, of the artwork adults you can do it too and we'll pop it or you can email me or you can pop it on our private Facebook church page and I can get it from there and we've got a gallery and if you scroll to the bottom of the breakfast at nine online page right at the bottom is a gallery of all the pictures of the artwork that's been sent in do 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 you remember take heart um and on there is a game and you can get play would you rather like we played just now or there's a game of charades that you can play there's an activity sheet and there's the kids songs there's songs on there that we're going to use this morning in the main service and there's also one way jesus oh i love that song it's such a good song and don't forget, pop on to the main Christchurch Facebook page at 10 o'clock for our live service. And it's Lisa bringing it today. And we are in for a treat because we have got some fantastic worship videos to really help us worship and grow closer to God. So don't miss it. And uh, I'm just going to pray now for us. So Lord, thank you for this glorious day. Thank you that you love us. Thank you that... Um, we can go out there and walk and grow closer to you. Help us to go deeper this week in whatever way we can, Lord. And help us to think about stitching that new garment, that new way of life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, tally-ho, off I go. Bye, everybody.